ready to begin our PowerPoint tutorial for embedding a video. Open PowerPoint. If you do not see the Developer tab on the ribbon, you'll need to take an additional step. Click on the Microsoft Office button located at the top left corner of the screen, and from the bottom, click on PowerPoint Options. Under Popular tab, click on Show Developer tab in the ribbon. Click OK. Now you will see the Developer tab in your ribbon. To add a Windows Media Player, you'll go to the Controls under Developer and click on the hammer wrench icon for more controls. Scroll all the way towards the bottom until you see Windows Media Player. Click on it and press OK. You draw the text box like you would, except this time it's going to make a Windows Media Player box. Before we can use this feature, we need to make sure that we have the appropriate add-on installed. You can follow the same steps to change PowerPoint options. And under Add-ins, if you do not see the VMP add-on, then this will not work for you and we need to download it. Let's learn how to do that now. We'll need to go online to download the feature that allows you to embed the files. Type support.microsoft.com slash kb slash 299284 as the URL. Scroll down and click on download the public English US download GIF package now. You will be prompted to download the package. Once the download is complete, click on OK. Click Yes to agree with the license. When prompted for the location to extract the files to, click Browse, find your C drive, then click on the Microsoft Office folder in your program files as your extraction location. Click OK and OK again. In PowerPoint, go to the Microsoft Office button and select PowerPoint Options. Under Add-ins, at the very bottom, under Manage, select PowerPoint Add-ins from the drop-down menu. Click Go. In the window that opens, click on Add New. Locate the add-in that you just saved to your computer. This should be in your Program Files under your C drive in Microsoft Office. Once you open it, you should see WMP.PPA and click OK. Agree with the warning by clicking I agree. Now click close. You'll be able to play videos. Let's add media to this open presentation, although you can add a video player to a new or old presentation. In the home tab of the ribbon, click new slide and you have several options. For this tutorial, we'll insert a blank slide. To get started, we're going to have to go into the developer tab of the ribbon. Click on the developer tab. Under controls, click on the more controls button. In the dialog box that opens, scroll all the way down until you see Windows Media Player. Select Windows Media Player and then click on OK. Draw what you would think is a simple text box about the size of the video. Right now, there's no video content. Once you right mouse click on the video and select Properties, you'll have the opportunity to add the URL of the video. Copy and paste or type the URL, a location of the video that you would like to play. Mine is located on our website. Next, click on the first value, Custom. Over to the right, there's a button called Ellipses. It looks like a dot dot dot. Click on this button. By default, video will play automatically. Uncheck this if you want to wait until the play button is clicked. Click Play Full Screen for the video to play in full screen mode. For play count, the default value is 1, but you can change this to loop your video to play more than once. You can also change your volume settings, but half volume is a good choice. Click OK. Close the property windows. Now is a good time to save your PowerPoint presentation. Click on Slideshow and from Current Slideshow, play the slideshow. You'll notice that the dialog it shows it's connecting. Once the video is connected, it will begin to play. You can press Escape to exit the slideshow and return to the presentation. In our first tutorial, we learned how to embed custom fonts. If you have used custom fonts, make sure to embed them before saving your file. When it comes to the file type that you save as, saving as .ppt will have the best compatibility. 
Now you can email, upload, and link your presentation. Since the video files are located online, the file size is preserved, and no one else needs access to the files located on your computer.